viewers to another episode on ASUG 12 exams. So in this episode we continue looking at the November 2022 science paper 1. So uh, basically in the first uh, four episodes we covered the multiple choice uh, section. Then uh, the last episode covered question 1. So let us look at question A, B2 in detail. Figure B 2.1 shows an object first weighed in hair and then when it was immersed in water. Question A determine the weight of the stone in hair. So basically uh, this one um, carries one mark because uh, basically it is straightforward. So what you need to do in this case is just to uh, come and uh, lead the reading on the uh, spring balancing uh, scale. So you notice that uh, this leading is basically uh, 60 which is uh, newtons as you can see from here. So it is just 60 newtons. So basically that's how you get uh, the one mark. B. Loman numero 1. Define up thrust. So when you're talking about a basically up thrust, what are we talking about? So uh, the other term that you uh, might be used, this is also known as a basically buoyant a force. Either they use up thrust or they use uh, basically uh, the buoyant force. So basically what is it? So basically uh, this is uh, basically um, the upward force exerted by a liquid when an object is immersed in it. So basically uh, this one uh, refer to the uh, upward force exerted by liquid when an object is immersed in it. That's basically the up thrust or the buoyant force. These are used interchangeably. Take note of that. They can ask you to define the up thrust or ask you to define the buoyant force. Just take note of the spelling. This is you, then Y, then like that. Buoyant force. So uh, let us uh, move to the next question. So a uh, question uh, Loman numero 2 of B. From the diagrams shown in figure B 2.1, determine the up thrust of the water. So uh, basically this is what we are required to do to determine the up thrusting of the water which is basically the buoyant force of water. Again uh, basically the key is uh, basically understanding the principle that I've just from explaining uh, the uh, Archimedes uh, principle which is uh, basically uh, stating that the up thrust force basically is due to uh, differences of pressure between the lower and the upper surfaces of the immense object in that particular fluid. So now how do you determine uh, basically the uh, up thrust uh, force? So basically to determine the up thrust force basically we use uh, this uh, formula. So the general formula is equal to uh, basically the apparent uh, weight, which I'll call AW, is equal to the weight of an object in basically air. Then uh, you take out the uh, thrust force. Okay, so this thrust force is the up thrust force or the buoyant uh, force. So basically it's this relationship that we need uh, to get. So this is the weight of uh, that uh, object in uh, basically when it is in the liquid. Then uh, this is uh, the weight when it is uh, basically in the hair. Then uh, this is uh, now the up thrust uh, force. So basically what we are looking for is Basically, we can go on the uh, where the diagrams are and try to identify these uh, items. So, this is uh, basically 
So we have weight of the object in here, then minus R, the thrust force or the up thrust force, the one we just defined here. You can, if you want, you can use U there, like that. Then uh, this one, what is it? Which is it? the apparent weight? When uh, basically it is in the water. So this is uh, basically this reading here, which is 20. So you put a 20 here, then equals. So what's the weight of the object in the hair? Which is in this case, this one, which is the 60 we just did there. So 60, then minus what we are looking for, which is in this case, the uh, up thrust force we, we are looking for. Then we just need to solve for that. So what you notice here in this case, uh, this one crosses the equal sign. It comes this side. So we're going to have a basically UF is equal to a basically now in this case it will be a 60. Then this one goes the other side becomes a negative. So minus 20. Remember the, the moment this one crosses, the equal sign becomes a positive. That's why here it's a positive. Then this one becomes a negative. So the up thrust force is equal to a basically a 40 newtons. So this 40 newtons is a basically the up thrust force that we are looking for in this case. So remember here we just found this one. So this is a basically 40 newtons. Then uh, we look at question C. Calculate the mass of the stone are taking gravity as 10 newton per kg. We know that uh, basically mass, we multiply it by gravity, we are going to get uh, basically the weight. And this weight is uh, the reading that we are getting of this stone in the hair, which is uh, basically the 60 newton. So that's uh, basically the reading on the scale in the air, because the up thrust is uh, basically distorted by uh, the pressure, the upward pressure by the water. So you get uh, this uh, 60. So now that 60 will be the weight. So we are going to have a basically weight is equal to a mass times gravity. Then uh, we are looking for mass. So we make my M the subject of formula. So we are going to divide by a G. Then we divide by G. So basically M is equal to a basically weight divided by a gravity. So we know what weight is. So weight is equal to a 60 newtons. Then we divide by gravity, which is 10, 10 newton per kg. So 10 newton per kg. So when you divide that, you notice that uh, basically this and that cancels. Then that into that is 6. 6 because this is an inverse. So it becomes basically just a 60 kg. So this 6 kg is uh, basically uh, the mass of the stone. So just not to confuse you. So what is happening here is we have 16. I just want to expand here. So it's 16 Newton. Then because we are dividing by uh, 10 Newton per kg. So what is going to happen is this is the same as 16 Newton multiplied by now. So it's going to be now basically a kg on top over 10 Newton. So now what you notice is this Newton and this Newton cancels 10 into a uh, uh, 60 it will be 6 60 kg so that's how this is coming about so basically this is uh, how you answer question e, b2 to, to get uh, the optimal max so please join me in the next episode as i look at uh, question e, b3 thank you viewers for watching uh, this uh, episode if you find this video to be helpful please uh, consider liking and also, if you're new to this channel, consider subscribing. By liking, subscribing, and sharing, you are going to help us improve our visibility. A simple like from you makes a big difference. So once you subscribe to our channel and go to our channel, we discover that we've got so much content. So we've got a mathematics a based a revision questions, we've got a physics, we've got a chemistry, then we've got also topic based a section for all the subjects. And this is the best section for you if you're having any challenges in any particular topic.